Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Game in the Max and part three of our Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich German East Asia. So, in the last episode, we managed to uh, secure victory in the Spanish Civil War for the Kingdom of Spain, which is not really the Kingdom of Spain, it's under Emilio Merla Vidal. Vidal? Um, no longer the king. Um, we also have volunteers fighting in he uh, over here in Bulgaria. We've helped capitulate Serbia, and we did take Bucharest the last episode. Uh, the Bulgarians seem to be doing fine against the Greeks. They did lose these two territories. They lost uh, Karzali and uh, Komotini to the Ottomans. I'm guessing Bulgaria might have a ability to go back to war for those territories. Uh, might be a decision. And then we have also... Or we also have units over here fighting in the American Civil War uh, on the side of the American Union states against the... Right now we're fighting the Syndicalists, but uh, the Pacific states are coming from the west. Hopefully we can defeat this the, uh, the Syndicalists this time around. If the Union states win, they do have the chance to join the Reichspact. I do want to look here really quickly. Uh, they do have eyes to the south. And they have not chosen to cross the border just yet, so that's good for us. Uh, other than that, let's get started. Uh, we'll try to win this war over here in Bulgaria, and we'll also try to win uh, the war over in America while finishing out most of our focus tree. So, let's see. Our units are moving against Plosetti. Hopefully we can push through, push through, and then move back around and destroy these units. We only have three military factories. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which is pretty atrocious. We can start to hopefully build some up. Just as you can see, most of our territories do not have the ability to uh, have a lot of factories. So... The fall of Denver, Minutemen Militia have taken over Denver. The U.S. can't take much more, can it? Probably means the Federalists will... Yeah. There goes the Federalists, and the Federal Collapse, the fall of Boston. West Indies Federation has made peace with the variety of communes, so the, uh, the West Indies are now communist. And our volunteer forces have returned from Spain. Let's do... That's factory output, political power. That's not bad. Stability... Consumer goods. We we only have two consumer goods right now. Uh, let's actually jump up to limited conscription. Get a little bit more manpower. Uh, and the Dominion of Canada declared war. Argentina declared war on the Patagonian workers front. Bad thing is the uh, American Union states just doesn't have the troops to man the border right now. And our troops are unable to do anything like they're not registering again. Let's get back over to Bulgaria. So you guys failed to take let's see try it again alright you would 
think. That their capital would have a... Rail, uh, or a, uh, supply depot, but they don't. So we're gonna pull our troops back, let them kind of rebuild up. Maybe actually say, you know what? We have fought the Romanians to kind of a grind. Let's move down south against the Greeks. Steal a little bit. We're not building nearly as many boats as we were. I would like to get uh, this uh, upgraded destroyer. Just start pumping out destroyers. And yeah, artillery. And rifles, that's what we're needing, as well as support equipment. We bought some support equipment. Venezuela also declared war on the West in, uh, Indies Union. Uh, I want to look at amount on market. Some Gewehr, some Mausers, that's basic. It's also basic. A lot of basic equipment. Some TKSs, some basic light tank chassis. Uh, let's actually buy these Gewehrs and I'll buy the support equipment from them. Get it in one delivery. Seven factories. I could request some more. Oh, I can. Hey, give me rifles, would you? Oh, you won't? Got our two. Oh, well, what type of overlord are you? You won't even give your your underlings any... Uh... Uh, Naj and Hassad declared war on Jabal Shabar. send any more volunteers to see going here in the Union States. I'm trying to take Washington. Doesn't look like we'll win that. Special issues too.
ever fell to the Pacific states. Finally positive on infantry equipment and artillery. Second Irish Revolution. Uh, unprecedented scenes has been reported from Ireland where the newly inaugurated president has been ousted from office. The previous Democratic Republic, Republic fell into disarray following former President Michael Collins lost in the elections with a British-supported socialist coup being held in the capital. Uh, poor, poor Ireland. Russia took Pokhara. Assyria declares its independence. Let me see. I do have four units I can go. Can't say anything to December 27th. Since Fritz. Is this the one that's pro Ottoman? Yeah. You're the ones that's not. But you are also at war with uh, Assyria. able to get over there in time. Yeah, I'd say it probably not. Nope. finished Black Monday recovery so we no longer have any. Another get uh, Alexander von Falkenhausen. Need steel. We're giving somebody a lot. Uh, the Netherlands are the only ones that are trading for steel right now. For rubber, they've retaken Bucharest. Probably because of supply issues. Ooh. 
Sanikov declares the Russian state. Well, you still haven't chose to cross the border, which is good for us. So we gotta destroy this pocket. Anti-air and light attack for our escorts. Research the machine gear here. We're gonna just flood troops into this. Pocket right here. The the socialist America states are incredibly strong. Let's take a Lamea there. There's the local economic initiative. We do a new admiralty, a reassessment of the role of the admiralty has begun in the German East Asia. It slowly develops into a proper administration rather than a fleet with territories. That lets us get oh some steel. Non more core manpower. We can invest. That's only a dockyard. Let's do the new Admiralty and we'll also do invest in the concessions. And so Lindia declared war on Dutch East Indies. Oh yeah, the Dutch are part of the Reichspact. Let's see. Who do I have home that would be good for this? I am a Falcon or Fritz Bailinger. Oh yeah, we gotta let the uh, big boss join the war. The Italian Civil War resumes. I did just think about it. If we do go to war, uh, invasion speed, special forces attack. For the Navy. Let's do Tilo, the decisive battle. you on strike force. I will be 
be switching these guys out into their own movies here soon. That's for you two out. That's for you two out. So he'll be in charge of the main fleet. Uh, you guys will have Otto Ciliax. And my U-boats will have Rudolf Fairly. I know he's a little bit better, but that re retreat decision chance and the speed. So, there you go. There's the call to arms. All right, when we call to arms, all of our troops will return home. Not necessarily great, especially because now Romania is in a pickle. We'll, oops. we'll recall our volunteers anyway. From German East Asia. They're the uh, American Union states with that big bubble like that. It's going to be hurting and the Pacific States is winning quite well I did want to look okay so they're gonna do the Sino German collaboration instead of, ma instead of maintaining the Western rule I would uh, like for them to do that. Alright, you know what? Let's join. Let's join the war. All my volunteers will come back. three to be switched over to the regular divisions even if I don't have the infantry equipment. Mm. The Dutch Revolution to so the Batavian Commune, the Dutch East Indies joined the Reich's back. So Wilhelmina should probably she's probably fleeing if the exiles arrive. So the Batavian communes. Let's go. Let's go. Guatemala joined the Revolutionary Front. Whenever you're ready, naval invade. Our volunteers returned. So are you under this chap? Latvia joins the Moscow Accords. It's be interesting to say the least. So I take that port right there, I'll move my Troops under Gisius. Move you all here. Get my Marines attacking. fall of Rome. Our troops have all returned. Uh, there's a new research slot. That'd be nice. To invest in the concessions.
Acorn Revolt. Let's meet them in the middle. You two move you south. The Xing government declared war on the Xingji click. That's why they bring us into the war. They need to recruit maybe like yeah, four more marine divisions. And you will also you know, I want you to be about the native guard. Mounted naval patrol, naval police. Overseas garrisons, no. Colonial Marines, that's what you can be called. So the Japanese sent. Oh, I see. Batavia will probably fall, but it won't be the worst news because that's not necessarily the capital. Or I mean, it'll it will be the capital, but uh, they'll be okay. land faster than the enemy can take it. Some more support. This wouldn't be horrible. Need excavation three. Fall of Buenos Aires, so Argentina is about done for. Argentina was annexed. We can also fortify the concessions. We do the local guards, it gives us more manpower. Fleet and Bean. Let's do Fleet and Bean. He falls ill. He gives the rest of Insulindia's troops. Is I don't think they can reach there. Many of Canada took six states from the West Indies Union. France took two, and Venezuela took one. Of 
Guatemala or Nicaragua declared war on Salvadorian commune. Guatemala declared war on Nicaragua. So I am has yet to join the co prosperity sphere. Don't know if they will or not. You guys still like us though. The AOG is taking quite a bit of power over here. Rommel falls ill. Oh, well, that's nice. The uh, Germany's gonna send us a bunch of equipment. Whenever you're ready to go. Let's see how fast. And two Sicilies is getting blown through right now. So is the Italian Republic. Bulgaria has yet to take Greece. They've lost quite a bit of land to Romania. States is on the back foot. Puerto Rico declares independence. I think that said Ireland joined the uh, yeah third international. We need Hungary to be destroyed at this point. Portugal ends their hostilities with Middle Africa. It does not look like Middle Africa got anything from that. Let's do uh infrastructure, that would be nice. Stability ten percent. Do the political power gain. Oppositions win the Polish elections. Our Marines are attacking. When they break through, we'll move these few units over. Stop, my bad. Italian Republic was already annexed. Wow. The SMS Neckar. While the Ostasian Flotte is already strong and mighty, it never hurts to increase the size of the lay the keel of a new battleship, the Neckar, which will serve as a strong and modern spearhead. Two. Machining tools. Three took Ecuador. Send us any rifles. Negative six thousand. Whoa. Okay, so you you stayed being uh, social conservatives. You hate us. You don't hate us. You like us. Hey, would you send us rifles? Russia send us rifles? Well, they, they wouldn't hate to. Let's see. Let's improve relations with you. The Ottomans. Shoot. The Ottomans won't send me anything. Uh, 
Sweden. So did you send me some rifles? Did you? No. What about Kingdom of Spain under Jamie the First? Jamie of Bourbon, second son of King Alfonso the Thirteenth, deaf and once considered likely to renounce any claims to the throne, has been crowned King of Spain. with you for a little bit all right that'd be funny if we got Russian arms Emirate of Cernesia joined the Cairo pack. Republic of Burma joined the Code Prosperity Sphere. It's alright. And the Kingdom of Siam as now as well. Push it forward. Salindia. send my troops or should I send my troops uh, we want to send some back to Bulgaria send volunteers we'll send this man Herman uh, Italy's pretty much a lost cause the American Union States is pretty much a lost cause Just find a parabola. But you are paternal autocrat, so we will send you Fritz. Bulgaria. That's it. You two. set up need some more steel oh we're not at war anymore so I can't ask for equipment and yeah, we'll just improve relations two sisters was Andex so that's the Regimento of Italy uh, I'd say that when Japan goes to war with us I can ask for equipment Uruguay wins the World Cup. Austria has finally beaten Hungary. After all that time. Can't do that. We can do medium tanks. 
soft tackle and reliability for our infantry equipment. About done with the Makar. Honduras capitulated. Uh, I would like those steel factories. Bunch of Navy dockyards. Military factories. Let's finish out our army of marines or navy of marines or whatever that was. Keep making guns. Area. Send your troops up here, Peru. Since Argentina is gone. Do weather the storm soon. Born know how. It would be fun to play as the Peru Bolivian Confederation. Probably wouldn't do this one. Probably do the National Populist. Yeah. choose whoever probably maintain a glorism yeah the proved Bolivian confederation would be quite a bit fun Battleships, do organization. Uruguay join the Montevito Treaty with Haiti to put war on the Dominican Republic. Escapation 2. Italy joins the Third International. Portugal joins the Entente. Research speed. There we go. Uh, the Greeks. The Greeks. Okay, so the American Union states and the Pacific states agree to a ceasefire. Deal with the devil. I can only send four. Let's see.
facts out to fight the Greeks. Start piecemealing them up. So you've got troops from South Africa and the Empire of Japan, Germany and Austria sent troops to the So they will form uh, probably Central America, but it's communist. Not what we want to see. Should have been over here in Paraguay pretty soon. government declared war on the League of the Eight Provinces. So immediately send some uh, volunteer forces there. You four, can, oh no, I just need to, you two, congratulations. You'll fall under his command, under uh, Fritz. against Shandong there. Better destroyers. Trying to hold it literally can. The uh, Pacific States is blitzing through them in the north. It's here in the south that we're struggling. Fall of Han. Come back over here. Just taking our troops some time to move. We find our methods. Naval Hutier. Though it was Colonel George Bruckmuller who refined the use of artillery with infiltration tactic, General Oscar von Hutcher's name appeared to retain the title. Oh yeah, request guns. Please. Please, Germany, please. There's a bunch of stuff on the international market. Bunch of Givers, artillery, and cars. I'll buy all that. Thank you, Sweden. Put eight factories on that. Uh, and that's Finland. That's Flanders. Finland, what else is selling? Some support equipment. All right, that's all I'm buying. Can't afford much else anyway. We 
get so many volunteers running around. Move our boys north. There goes Paragua. And it could have won the Philippines. Here we take Wu Chang. We need the Fang Tang government to uh, go to war with the Xing government. Is returned. We're on the defensive anyway. Oh, there's another naval invasion. Man, these naval invasions are rough. Take the Lixi or the Luxi back. Knock out Janan there. You guys probably have Warlord inadequacies. You got military reforms in progress. You guys still have KMT unrest? What have y'all been doing? I mean, I'm okay with that, but yeah, you guys need to try to do something. Let's see.
attack. And the Clover Revolution was crushed following central led mass protests in Poland against the wildly unpopular German monarchy. August the 4th authorized the plan to crush the protesters by sending Heinz Gunderen's armed unit in the capital. What followed was nothing short of a massacre with thousands dead as the protest leaders were either imprisoned or shot. Germany consolidated its group over Europe. Focus. Well, Transylvania is its own thing. Okay. You're doing embrace pluralism instead of ending the dual, uh, ending the dual rule. Barzinji insurrection. Pushing back the syndicalists now. And force us out of Jackson, Mississippi. Nationalist coup in Ukraine, despite the fact that anti hetman revolt two years ago dispelled the notion that the Hetman's government was the sole guarantee here. So then you have the national or Ukrainian National Republic. Detection and mine sweeping. Pretty much end. Greece here. Estimation to. finally now we can focus all of our attention against the Romanians that will finally end the oh, never mind they've made peace Bulgaria is victory or victor victory Boxic mining in Johor here, which is uh, 30 aluminum, which is very nice. And we can give some guns to the Nanjing government. Uh, I have enough to give, but I, I don't actually want to give them any guns. Oh, there goes the Fang Tang government. So there's the fifth Zithi Fang Tang war.
Cuba joins the Reich's Pact, as they usually do. There's the fall of Bing Jing. Yeah, the Xing made the wrong move. Feed that pocket there. There's some more of our Marines. India has, or Dominion of India has capitulated. Try to get uh, Shangdong to capitulate. Probably need a yeah bunch of steel for it. And we're not constructing anything. We have oh we can build a lot up here. Build three more military factories. A dockyard. Station here, here, here. Build a bunch of radar stations. And then we'll start working on infrastructure. That's pretty much all we can build afterwards, anyway. Egypt could war the Ottomans. Oh wow, the Fang Tank has just blown to the Xing in the north. Africa declared war on the Republic of South Africa. Jump down there. Oh yeah, they went paternal autocrat. So now you have the tall in southern Rhodesia. Of course, middle Africa. 
doing anything. Third Boar War. Some more equipment. AT7s. No. Buy them out. There's some more Gewehrs. It's a bunch of Russian arms. Oh, Russia, I'll buy those off of you. Anti air. Some trucks. What's oh, a wash order? Do seven on that, and then buy a bunch more Swedish equipment. Just put seven factories. In the back. Of course, the Russians were like, "Oh yes, we will gladly accept this." Machine pistol forty. You all the train, you all the train, you all the train. Ottomans took Kurdistan. Tanya and Yemen declared war on the Ottomans. Yeah, the Fang Tang, the Shin government made a large mistake this way. Our finest hour, British politician and former Lord of the Almathy, Winston Churchill, has published a new book, part of an emerging genre known as Alternate History and Concerning the Great War. The story takes the perspective of a young British soldier returning from a victorious Gallipoli campaign of many world radically different from our own. In this lifetime, or timeline, Theodore Roosevelt and his Bull Moose Party win the 1912 American presidential elections, leading to an American entry into the Weltkrieg and an Entente victory. A defeated and partially occupied Germany is gripped by constant economic and political crises, or crises witnessing the defeat of the whites in the Russian Civil War, and is cooped by a bitter and extremely nationalist Adam Dressler. He leads the German Workers' Party who allows or follows the ideology of people's socialism, an extreme version of national populism. The novel ends with the beginning of a three-sided war between Dressler's New Reich, the Western Entente led by the dom dominant British Empire, and a Soviet Russia led by Sergei Kirov. The book has divided critics with some praise in its attention to details, while others criticize it for its large flaws in historical logic. Churchill has commented that something like this could have happened in another universe. So then Rhodesia joins the Entente, so does Natal. Damocles Damaki, Project. Tex overthrows the Greek government in the fall of Manila. Production efficiency gain. So Japan is pretty much knocked out the Philippines. Or I guess Transamer. Stop trying to use, stop trying to use. 
Let me stop trading you. To elevate the main floor. All right. So with this, I'm going to end episode three. I hope you all have enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one.